welcome back to the Inside Answering Legal Podcast. I'm Taryn Winterbrill. Just call me TWB. If this is your first time tuning in, this is the podcast where we provide a behind the scenes look at all things answering legal, our 24 seven virtual receptionist service and customer experience. So in our first episode, we welcomed our marketing director, Nick Worker, to answer some common frequently asked questions. Now it's time to start hearing from some of the actual lawyers who use the answering legal service. We are so excited about our first attorney guest. This lawyer is the owner of Shuttleworth Law, a criminal defense, IP infringement, and personal injury firm in the greater Philadelphia and South Jersey area. His practice has been using Answering Legal for over a year now, and today he's going to be taking us inside his time with the service and discussing the impact it's had on his legal life. Brad Shuttleworth joins me now. Brad, so good to see you. It's great to see you as well. I didn't know that you went by TWB. I like it. Yes. Thank you. Sometimes TW, my name's a mouthful. So T, TW, TWB, all good. First, I just wanted to say, Brad, when I was reading about your firm, you're uh, you know, in the Philadelphia area. I went to school in Philly. So I'm super excited to talk to you. How are things going in Philly? I know you're in Jersey right now, but you practice in Philly as well. Oh, yeah. We, we practice in both Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. Um, I mean, my practice was mainly in Philadelphia for about 17 years, so I can't seem to wiggle my way out of Philly, (laughs) but it's going pretty well. I mean, we have a great court system in Philadelphia and, uh, they streamline both the civil and criminal cases pretty well for us attorneys. It's one of the better counties to practice in. So I love it. Yeah. Terrific. Can't wait to get into it because. Uh, you've been in practice for over 20 years now. Just to kick things off, tell us a little bit about you, background about the firm. Yeah, absolutely. So I I actually hung up a shingle right after doing a one-year clerkship after law school. I always sort of wanted to be my own boss and have my own shop. So uh, I did that for a few years, joined up with another firm for about 10 to 12 years, I think it was. And, uh, you know, just kept, you know, getting clients and, you know, sort of acting as my, um, you know, I was bringing in my own business while working at the firm, but it was great to have that kind of support uh, with the staff there. And then about three years ago, I opened up this practice. Uh, For the whole time, I've been doing criminal defense work, which, you know, I get a lot of phone calls for criminal defense all hours of the day, sometimes at 3 a.m., as well as personal injury cases, which, you know, are similar in when it comes to the client contact. And, you know, now I do a lot of criminal defense work, uh, copyright infringement defense, as well as personal injury. And I love it. I have a little staff here in uh, my office in Winona, New Jersey. And it's and my office is only 15 minute drive from my house. Oh, perfect. Love that. Well, you, you mentioned getting calls at three in the morning. So <laughs> that's that's a great sort of, uh, you know, conduit to what we do here at Answering Legal. Tell me more about that. You know, I'm, I'm curious, you are you are a new customer. You've been using the, the service for over a year. So I always like to talk to people kind of you're you're brand new to it. Tell us what drew you to Answering Legal kind of what were the gaps, Brad, you were facing? What were the problems you were facing that you needed to solve? And you're like, OK, time out. Stop the car. I need some help. You know, when when people talk about phone calls in my business, I always talk about when my wife and I were first married back in 2014. Uh, In this practice, I was getting phone calls at 11 o'clock at night, 2 a.m., and my wife would turn over to me and say, who was that? A, a, A client or a potential client? What did they want? Well, clients just call that time of day, right? And um you know, and that's before I had staff, before I had answering legal. And those are some of the problems that we run into because phone calls come at inconvenient times or they come at times when you're just doing something else, whether it's for work or personal. Right. Exactly right. I I always wonder, you know, before answering services, how did it work? Were people leaving voicemails? I mean, because, you know, obviously the kind of law that you do you know, pedestrian accidents, uh, you know, maybe a bicycle accident, a construction accident, the accident happens. And it's not like you sit and wait, you say, "Uh Oh, I'm in trouble. I need help, right? You reach out to someone immediately. So it's like, you want to be able to contact someone, you know, ASAP, you you have no, you you can't afford to waste time. And we want to make sure that when someone calls our firm, they get a live voice, because that's usually a problem after hours, because after hours, the staff's not in the office. And when someone calls, you want to be able to take their call immediately. Even if when you have answering legal, they speak to one of the receptionists and I cannot pick up the phone, at least for those few minutes, they spoke with a really professional 
mm-hmm. warm body on the other end of the call. And so it's most important for us, you know, after five o'clock and up until 8.30 a.m. when we have staff here at the office. Right. And I mean, but prior to that, though, I mean, had you ever looked at it, you know, had you ever used it an answering service before after hours? You know, what was your experience with it? We never we never used an answering service uh, mm. during after hours before. Right. And what would happen is people would go to a voicemail when we just had a voicemail system. Wow. And at least half the time you would just hear the phone hanging up. Nowadays, people shop for lawyers online. And if that's how they're shopping for an attorney online. They call and they don't get a live person at the other end of the call. They're going to hang up and just go to the next listing that they see on one of the search browsers. Having a warm body on the other end of the line prevents people from just going down the list once they've already called you. Um, and, And then the other option is you can have a purely electronic service, or excuse me, a purely electronic system forward calls to your cell phone. But if I'm having dinner with my family or if I'm sleeping, I don't want to pick up my cell phone anyway. So even during those times, a a potential client is not going to get a person on the other end. Right. So, I mean, you, you kind of, you've said it, you've said it all exactly kind of the, the impact that it's had on you put that into words in terms of the expansion of your business. Because as you said, if I've just been in an accident, I'm calling the first firm that picks up, right? That I know I can rely on is there. If I if they've picked up immediately now, I know they're going to keep picking up, right? So, you know, you start with answering legal and now what? Have you increased your client base? Has it helped with leads? You know, put that into words for us, Brad. Yeah, our client base has just constantly been expanding over the past yeah. couple of years. Uh, but the great thing about it is the receptionists get a little bit of information about the potential client's case, whether it's criminal or if it's an accident case. And so if I'm not able to pick up the phone, then I, at least I have a little bit of information about the potential client. For example, where did their car accident happen? Where were Where was their family member arrested? So first, I know whether their case is within my service area. And if a case is within my service area and it's a type of law that I practice, I know to prioritize making that call back. So it helps to get me more information in the beginning before I even have a conversation with a potential client. And and I'd imagine that's invaluable, right? You're getting the backstory on each individual case. So it's sort of like, you know, when you have a conversation with someone, Live, you have follow up questions and then you got to wait to get those responses. But now you sort of have this preamble, right? This background information that otherwise prior you really couldn't have, Brad. So, I mean, in terms of the impact, I mean, this is a real game changer for you, I'd imagine. It really has been a game changer. And I can get the person's telephone number as well as their email address from the answering legal receptionists. So, if I can't make the call back immediately, at least I could just hop on my phone or a laptop and send the potential client an intake form. So I have contact with them uh, before we can have a voice chat. So it's, it's helped us get intake information faster and we're able to handle more intake or more potential new clients. Right. Faster and more new clients, right? Name of the game, just expansion, expansion, expansion. If you had to sort of, you know, talk about the ease of using the service. You know, did you have any, you know, worries going into it, you know, kind of the unknown, but how easy has it been? And what is, what has surprised you most? You know, anything new, it's sort of, I I don't know what I don't know. Right. But for someone who's considering using the service, I I find your insight invaluable, Brad, because you've recently been through it. You know, you didn't really know what to expect exactly until you're in it. But now that you're on the other side, you know, what, what do you like the most? Uh, yeah, so I started in July of 21, I think, and yeah. it, it's it's been incredibly easy because I get when there's a new customer or a new potential client on the phone, the service calls me and they were sending text messages to me so I could see what's going on once I get a notification. Uh, and now Answering Legal has a new app that they use and like it has notifications on the app and the app is like super clean looking and it's, it's, it's just simple. Like I didn't know what an answering service was all about until I joined 
And it was almost immediate that I was like, oh, this just makes my life easier. It's great. I remember probably two weeks in, I was down in Florida at one of the big theme parks in line and I'm getting messages and I'm just like, you know, I, I thought to myself, things are just running without me having to be there. And I only had a paralegal at that point. So it helped reduce my stress and it just gave me peace of mind, even that, even that quickly after like two or three weeks. Right. Because prior, what was happening? You were losing, you didn't really know what business you could have been losing, right? It's just, if no one's on the phones, no one's available and you just have to accept the situation. But now it's sort of like, I can be with my family. I can be in court. I can be doing other things, knowing there's someone there all the time. Yeah. Like before it, I would be in court and I would like get a forwarded call to my cell phone and I would feel like, and of course it's not when I'm talking to a judge or like in the middle of a trial or something, but if I'm sitting in court waiting for uh, my case to be called, I would jump up and run out of the courtroom to answer a call because it could have been a new potential case. Right. Since doing that, I didn't have that worry. So it, it's, it's reduced a lot of stress. I was, I was losing some business. I was losing some hair, you know, <laughs> because of the stress. And it's 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 really like being able to hire somebody 24 hours a day for a fraction of the price that it costs to hire somebody for seven or eight hours a day. And exactly what you just said, I was going to ask, you know, ask if you could just give a little bit of insight of obviously it's saving you time, it's but it's also saving you resources. Right. I mean, that what, what you just said is really invaluable. Um, you know, tell, tell us more about that, because at the end of the day, it's the bottom line. So it's like I'm getting more bang for my buck. My business is expanding and I'm, you know, shelling out, you know, a fraction of the amount. Yeah. And when we're talking about a fraction of the amount, it's literally about 25 percent. I did the math about two years ago. It's about 25 percent of the cost of having a reception person. But it's also 24 hours a day. So 25% of the cost, but three times the value, I guess. And you don't have to worry about hiring, firing, uh, wage taxes, uh, payroll, nothing like that. So it's easy. And I've decided that I never need a front desk receptionist anymore. And the way our office is set up, it's great for, like, we don't have to have one for the setup either. Yeah. I mean, talk about streamlining and, but also t talk to us about the quality of, and you touched a little bit upon this, Brad, kind of the, the intake, the quality of the intake, right? Because somebody could say, yeah, all right, but if you have a, you know, receptionist, receptionist rather, at least they're immersed in the firm, right? They know the ins and the outs of the kind of cases you cover. So, you know, tell us how pleased you've been with the service and the level of detail they're providing you and the compre you know, the comprehensive manner that we're giving you the information and the intake. Very pleased. The receptionists, they, they sort of figure out what type of case the person's calling about very quickly during their conversation. And then based on the type of case that somebody is calling about, then they know the next four or five questions to at, ask the person. So it's the, the information that's gathered is useful for us. It tells us about what type of case it is, whether the person is the actual client or somebody who's calling on behalf of someone else, because that happens a lot, especially in criminal defense. Uh, they get the email address, the cell phone number. It's, you know, intake is all about making the person on the other, like who's calling you feel comfortable, satisfied. And people nowadays want to speak with somebody very quickly, but the intake process is all about the law firm getting as much information as quickly as possible to determine whether it's a case we want to spend any more intake time on. Right. And like everything you just said, Brad, it's really being fluent in your language, no matter what kind of case it is, because you're relying on us. You, you have a, a thriving practice, right? We mentioned all the things, you know, copyright infringement, criminal law, civil cases, you know, you know, personal injury. There's a lot, you know, looking at your website, there's a lot that you're relying upon us, you know, possible cases to answer. And, you know, you want to know that they're answering the right questions. Again, they're fluent in the language. And as you said, the customer feels like they're in good hands, right? So you can't yeah. just have anybody picking up the phone. Yeah. Over the weekend, somebody called us and it was for a criminal case that is about four or five hours away in Pennsylvania. Mm. And I, I saw the message come through. I, I saw which county the case is in. 
And what I did was before I called the potential new client back, I texted a friend of mine to see if he's taking cases in that county, which was like one or two counties away from where his law office is. He said, yes. And I said, okay, I'm about to talk to somebody. I may send them your way later today. So I called the person back. You know, I told them that's slightly outside of my area, but I have an old friend who practices law in that area. I've known him for 10 years. I gave her his information and they can, they were able to connect, but like, at least I was able to have the referral in hand. So when I spoke with her, I was able to help her just by getting her to a good place. And that's amazing. And if I'm the customer, right? Like the fact that you've done that and you've already done the legwork for me to find someone that, you know, that, that you believe in, right. And that is, that is vetted, right. I mean, the com- comfort level, you know, being, being comfortable with the person representing you and you saying, Hey, this is outside my jurisdiction, but there's this great guy and I've already given him all the information as opposed to just kind of, let's say you just got a message in the old days on, on a machine. Hey, I have a case. Uh, I don't know much about it, but you can take it. You know, I mean, now you're really giving specific guidelines, which really just streams li- streamlines the process on all ends. Yeah. And like when somebody needs help, it sometimes just feels good to get them to the right place, even if it's not going to be me that's helping them. And you right. don't want to send them back to the drawing board because they're just searching around as a consumer trying to find legal representation. So giving them nice word of mouth and nice recommendation makes them feel a lot more comfortable, especially when they're probably in a stressful situation already. Yeah. And I love that, Brad, because again, it's not just about you getting the case, like you couldn't get it. And I'm sure, you know, we all want to expand our businesses, but just knowing that you were able to help someone just obviously says a lot about your character and the kind of, you know, how you operate your firm and that, you know, speaks volumes, right? Just in terms of, you know, getting further business. Yeah, it it, it really does. And it's also good for referrals because if I'm sending other attorneys in other parts of Pennsylvania and New Jersey cases, they remember that I did that and they likely want to return the favor in the future. So it's not just being a good person. It's also a good business decision to make sure you're just helping people. Right. Yeah. And and then they say, Brad, how did you get all that great information? How'd you get that specificity without even, you know, (laughs) doing a full intake? Where did this come from? So perhaps you're like, Hey, it's answering legal, right? This, this could be you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They, they love it. I, I come to them with a lot of information early on, so it's helpful. Yeah. So let's just back up for a second. You know, if we can get more granular here, Brad, into the process. So tell anybody out there who's considering this, you know, what, what kind of information you're getting from us? Cause you mentioned someone's answering the phone 24 seven, you know, for about a fraction of the price. I think you said about 25% of what you used to be paying. So it's a win-win on all ends, but are you getting when, you know, when, Talk to me like, you know, you wake up and you've gotten calls in the middle of the night. What's happening when you, you know, when you get up and what's that intake like for you? It's happening also like, let's say you're in court or you're in a meeting, right? You're also possibly getting a forwarded call where you could pick it up. Or if not, it goes to, you know, somebody else. Tell us about the specificity of what, you know, the the program that you're enrolled in with us. Right. So what happens is if a, an existing client calls or opposing counsel or co-counsel calls, the service gets all of their contact information and the reason for their call. If, for example, it is a potential new client that's calling, the uh, answering legal will call my cell phone. If I don't pick up my cell phone, they go right back to the person and they let the person know that they're sending me the message. Uh, They let the potential new client know that. They also send me an email and they send me a text message. Uh This way, there are a few different mediums where I can see that this potential new case is knocking at my door. Then what I do with that information depends on what else I'm up to at that moment, because if I'm in a meeting or in court, I can't just call the other person back without disrupting what I'm doing. But I can go on my phone and send them our internal intake forms. We use a uh, a CRM service, which actually fully in- integrates with answering legal. Mm-hmm. Once a potential new client has spoke with a receptionist at answering legal, it their name, phone number, location of their case, and the rundown of their case is already in our CRM. So I could just go to their listing in our CRM, hit mm-hmm. two buttons, 
based on the information that Answering Legal got, and they have an intake form with a nice email from us. So they get our full contact information. They've received an email. So the Shuttleworth Law PC name, they now see it in writing again through their email. So I have some contact with them. And, you know, from there, I run them through our CRM. We provide uh, both in-person as well as consultations over Zoom or, or the telephone. And uh, from there, hopefully we get hired. Yeah. And um, talk to me about kind of overnight. Are you, what's, what's your, what's your uh, you know, accumulation of calls off hours, right? Something happens at three in the morning. What is that experience like for you? And how invaluable has that situation, you know, in terms of what we're providing, you know, given you? Well, I can reach back out to somebody as soon as I've had my first three sips of coffee, yeah. right? Because, you know, I'm up at 6 a.m. or earlier some days. And if they've called at 3 a.m., chances are they might still be up. So I can get myself together and call them very early. Whereas if they've called another law firm in the middle of the night, the other law firm might not get back to them until like 930. Hopefully, I beat the other law firms to the punch. And by receiving all of these messages, as soon as I start my day and getting information about the potential new client's case, I can get a jump on it because yeah. the early bird gets the worm. And I feel like I can be the early bird in these situations. I mean, just that scenario in and of itself says it all, right? I mean, you're right there. You're, you're, you're calling this person back immediately. And like you said, if they're calling at four in the morning, they're likely going to be up at six when you're there and you know, you're on it. So, you know, in that vein, Brad, you may have mentioned this, but how many cases do you try a year? You know, how big is your staff? Tell us again, how many, would you say that you're getting X, Y, Z amount of more leads and cases now, now that you've had this answering service? Can you, can you quantify it for us in any way? Yeah. So back in July of 21 active cases, I may have had about 80 active cases at, at any given time. Now we're at about 150 active cases at any given time. Wow. Uh, and, you know, having answering legal as a receptionist, that is saving us time in what we were doing before, because we're splitting the, uh, the intake process between answering legal and then we pick up the ball, right, from, uh, from what answering legal did. So we are able to handle more cases now. Uh, the intake process is faster for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we only have a staff of uh, three here in this office. And, you know, the, the time it takes to talk to people on the phone is valuable. And if somebody is in the middle of drafting a motion or getting an electronic filing done or in a meeting with a client, being able to, uh, you know, assign that task to someone else is good because it just, it's a free, it frees up resources here in terms of uh, uh, our human resources, what people are doing. Yeah. So it's really helpful. Wow. I mean, just hearing, hearing your experience is like gives you chills because it's really, it's, it's just a win-win for everybody. And by expanding your business and you're helping people, right? You're getting to help more people, which at the end of the of the day is, you know, you're advocating for people who need help. So it's 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 a great service, you know, at the end of the day, it, it comes down to helping people. Yeah, it really does. And you know, I've gotten a few uh, a few comments from potential new clients. They they've told me how nice my receptionist is. Oh. And I know that they didn't speak to anybody in this physical office. So I know it was one of the answering legal receptionists. I was like, "Oh, thank you. I'll let them know." Yeah, that's great. That just curious, you know, it's so great to hear that, that you're getting such, you know, great feedback from, from clients saying, Hey, your receptionist was great, by the way, cause they don't have to do that. Just curious. Have you ever, um, kind of tested it out yourself and, you know, played the role of someone looking for an attorney and, and called to just see what the experience was like? No, I, I never pretended that I was a potential new <laughs> client, but I do have to call my own phone number sometimes because we have three telephone numbers. We have a New Jersey phone number, a Pennsylvania, New Jer uh, excuse me, a PA phone number, a Jersey phone number, as well as a toll free number. And, you know, I use a VOIP service. So um, when I'm working on our phone system, I do have to call each one of the numbers to make sure it's going through. Uh, so I've done that. Also, when I've used our phones to try to call uh, my paralegal on days that she's working from home, I 
you know, I, I try to use our office phone and I forgot that the extension that I dialed actually goes to answering legal as well. And I have to say, oh, right. no, it's, it's Brad Shuttleworth. I was just trying to get another line. And right. I, uh, but I, I, I've spoken with him and everybody's very professional. And when, when the answering legal receptionist call me to tell me about the new potential client that's called, um, and they also tell me about their case too. So when I hop on the mm -hmm. phone, Yes, I learned a little bit about your case. I can say, tell me more, not tell me Sorry about your case. Yeah, and, yeah. and the potential clients um, appreciate that. But yeah, every time they call me to give me a rundown on a case, they're they're great. They're absolutely great. And I'm impressed by the detail of information that they get and how patient they are with everybody. Right, yeah. But you know, you can, it, it's sort of like the one size fits all customer service model. I can relate that to, you know, being on the line where you get transferred. Oh, let me let me transfer you to someone else who can help you. Let me transfer you to this. And you get transferred seven times. And each time you have to start from the top. And it's like, hey, do you know? Okay, let me start again. Here, here's what's going on. But what you just said is so invaluable. that <laughs> There's no having to start from the top. They get on the phone with you and they're like in the middle of a sentence, right? They're just picking right. up where they left off because you don't have to go through all those steps again and go through the repetition. I've never met another person in my life that actually likes an electronic phone tree. There's not a single person in the world that likes it. So speaking with a live person who is empathetic and who knows the right questions to ask based on the type of case is important for people. They're going through a lot of stress. They need to talk to a lawyer or someone at the lawyer's office or a receptionist like answering legal who's going to make them feel more comfortable in an otherwise traumatic or stressful situation so yeah they appreciate it yeah and you know it speaks volumes because i was looking at some of your customer testimonials brad and some of the things that you know people are saying about working with you and one of the things that really kept sticking out was how accessible you are how patient you are, how knowledgeable you are, you know, in terms of follow up and just always being there um, and just how responsive you are. I kept seeing words like responsive and accessible, which is not necessarily always the case when you're dealing with 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 a lawyer or a law firm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, us lawyers like on television, you see lawyers portrayed in one way. But in real life, we're driving to a courthouse that might be an hour away, sitting, waiting for court to start, which takes an hour before your case is called. You can't always be there for clients or people who are trying to uh, get a hold of you. Uh, so it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. And, you know, like, I don't always feel that I am as responsive as I would like to be in, yeah. you know, a perfect world. Right. So I think what happens is if my office is responsive, not necessarily me, or when they're speaking to people at answering legal, because they spoke to a live person, they're not just sending a voicemail out into dead yeah. airspace. It just makes them feel like I'm more responsive. And perception is, you know, <laughs> is almost yeah. everything. And so as long as people and clients are feeling that way about me, okay, great. Although I feel like I could do a better job, but can't we all? Well, there's only one of you, right? I mean, I think in your profession, you wish you had 10 of you, but you know, that's where answering legal com comes into play. They're like little mini brads, right? Asking all the questions that you would, um, and then we're passing off the baton to you when you're available. But, you know, but all those testimonials, you know, are, you know, just the firm's responsive, right? The firm is there, they're, you know, available when you need them. And that's what you want when, you know, you're in a bind and you need help, uh, you know, and, Something involved, you know, involving the law is is uh, you know, sometimes you just get caught in the day to day. But this is someone's life with a lawsuit, an injury. It's um, it's their whole world. Yeah, it absolutely is. The amount of stress that clients go through is it's incredible. And you know, in my job, I'm always glad that I'm not going through what my clients are going through. So the easier that we can make it for people, the more convenient we can make accessing a lawyer for yeah. for people, the better. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, nowadays we have Zoom. Everybody is accustomed to using video conferencing uh, technology. So we give our clients or our potential clients a choice of either having an in-person meeting or a Zoom meeting. 
And so we try to use all of that so that they are just comfortable and they are um, getting access to an attorney in a way that they can number one, afford, and number two, that they're comfortable with. And, like, people have family out obligations. So if we can make the process easier, they can take care of their family versus coming into an office, paying for parking, things like that. Yeah. Your lawyer. It's just amazing with the advent of technology, how things have changed so much. You know, you've been practicing, like you said, for over 20 years. When you look, when you look at how things have changed, just in terms of accessing a client like me, let's say like this, just immediately not having, you know, no travel time, no commute time, um, not needing it, a person, you know, sitting there all day long and then missing out on calls throughout the night. I mean, it's just, you know, the level of just making things easier and more accessible on so many levels, streamlining the process is really, you know, for someone who's been, you know, doing this for 20 years, I'd imagine your perspective is really unique. I love technology. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whenever there's a new technology that I think we could possibly use, I try it out. I test it. I try to find other lawyers that may have used the technology before me. Right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, having a phone service like this really is a good use of technology mm -hmm. because it makes lawyers accessible. It's also pretty inexpensive for what you get. It's 24 hours a day. Um, we should we should all be using this technology to make legal services accessible and less costly for co clients too. Because if we can save money, then we don't have to raise prices, or we could charge somebody uh, a, a smaller hourly rate or a or a smaller flat fee. Yeah, it's so true. Right at the end of the day, what's it going to cost a customer? How you've been able to streamline your business using something like Answering Legal really is just. The fact that it's benefiting the client, you know, too, it's not just about benefiting your firm, everyone's involved. So, um, you know, like I said, it's a win win. Um, one of the one of the things that we hear a lot from, you know, a lot of the law firms that use answering legal is it's really freed up a lot of personal time for them, um, you know, time in their schedule. Would you say that, you know, this service has helped because you mentioned being out to dinner, you know, with your family and things like that. How has the service kind of changed your personal life? by batching return phone calls. Okay. And what I mean by that is if I go see a movie with, if I take my son to see the latest movie he wants to see on a weekend, I can leave my house and say to myself that I'm not looking at my phone for three hours while I'm spending time with my son. If one person call, whether it's if one person calls or four people call, I just wait until I get back and I can just batch Match my return phone calls. I can sit down, call the first person, second person, third person, fourth person, and sort of be at peace with that. Whereas before I would have, you know, my leg would have been, you know, bobbing up and down during the movie, ready to walk out of the theater so I can make that, you know, all of those phone calls back right away. But now I can wait a little bit longer and do things in a batch that it's my schedule a little bit better. Yeah. And, and I mean, also, just having a 24 seven, you know, answering service on the weekends, because what did your weekends look like? You know, you mentioned, you know, going to the movies on a weekend, but in general, I'd imagine not just the movie scenario, but I'm so curious how your personal life operates when law is a 24 seven, seven days a week business, right? You can't afford to miss a lead injury. You know, cases happen <laughs> seven days a week, all hours of the day and night. So, you know, how, tell, I'm curious, give us a snapshot before and after of, of what your weekends were like. There, there are a lot less voicemails for me to get to now <laughs> because I have the email, I have the text message, I have the answering legal app. So there are way less voicemails that I need to get to. And, you know, on these phones, if you call somebody and they're answering, you know, or their uh, mailbox is full, that's never a good thing, right? right. Um, so now I don't have a full voicemail box anymore. And... I also, it's also made me a little bit more organized because I have the, uh, the contact information and information about the potential case in two or three different areas. I can be halfway around the world and I have all the information from answering legal on my phone now, along with the app. 
So it's helped me be uh, actually a lot more organized because I keep like a little notebook with like notes of things that I need to get done during the course of the day. And before I used to have to put all of the potential new clients information in the notebook and then I would have to flip. Well, wow, where did, where did I, where did I put that person's name and phone number? Now right. it's just in, in, in an app or in an email and I can search for their name and find their information. Yeah. I mean, it just cuts down on so many things that we used to be doing, you know, the old fashioned way. So it's really, it sounds like it's really influenced your life. And this is recent. This is just a year ago. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And things have changed a lot. We've experienced a lot of growth and, you know, I'm really happy that I'm using a service like this because it's enabled us to grow more and it's saved me time and helped to make me a little bit more organized at the same time. Now, when I look back on things, I say to myself, it was necessary. It was a necessity for us. Yeah. What made you finally pull the trigger? I mean, you know, how did you come to, you know, say, okay, now's the time, right? And I think I can really benefit from this. By feeling overwhelmed. Mm. I was feeling overwhelmed and I was looking for a solution and I stumbled on answering legal and I made the phone call. And when I called, they told me exactly how it worked. Uh, I think at that time there was like, you know, two weeks, you know, you you get to try out the service for like two weeks and see how you like it. And, you know, I liked it within like three or four days (laughs) and, you know, I was sort of kicking myself for not doing it sooner, but, you know, at the same time, I really shouldn't because I didn't know that something so good was available for us until I tried it. Right. And you don't know what you don't know, but now you do. And, you know, what would you say to anybody who's on the fence about, Um, you know, anyone watching this, who's really not sure. Ah, it sounds good. I'm kind of old fashioned. I don't think I need it. What would you say to someone, um, that's considering giving answering legal a try? I say they'd have to, because it's, you know, they can do it very inexpensively. It's a necessity nowadays. And, you know, when you look at some lawyers who are doing things the old way, like I wouldn't want to be perceived as not using, uh, you know, a receptionist or a service like this nowadays, right? Uh, because like, you don't want clients to think that you're the lawyer who's out of touch with technology or out of touch with how customer service works. Yeah. Right. And so by using something like this, you're really using like a, a part of customer service that is people want to speak with a live human being. You're using like yeah. something that's integral with what people expect from a law firm or any company who wants to provide good service to people. Yeah. And I like also, you know, a lot of people may not realize they're also getting the, the, the benefit of just that informational intake. Like you said, the, you know, the other way we got, you got to do everything on your own. Everything is there. Someone else is doing it 24 seven. You don't have to write anything down. You know, you have it in multiple portals. Um, and it's, so much of the work is done for you. So it's sort of like, and, and especially with the free trial, it's like, it's like, how could you not, you know, if something's for, how could you not try it out? You have nothing to lose by, you know, giving it some time, testing it out, taking it out for a spin and saying, wow, how, you know, how have I not had this in my life <laughs> up until now? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it it's absolutely necessary for us. And yeah. I couldn't imagine not using it right now. And you know, the integration that Answering Legal does with other um, like customer CRM, customer relation management software, right? Answering Legal is fully integrated into the CRM that we use. Yeah. And when, you know, we had a, uh, a Zoom conference call when I was getting integrated, you know, Answering Legal to the CRM. And when I met with them, the they explained the process, how it works, I told them what my needs are. I told them about the information that I need to get from a couple of new practice areas that I started to engage clients in. And they set up the um, the questions. They helped me set up the questions for the new practice area. And we were able to get the integration with our CRM done really quickly. Like it was just yeah. like a few days uh, after we had the conference call that we, um, or excuse me, the video conference, we had everything set up and the information was not just flowing to my phone, my email, but it was also dumping directly into our CRM. So we had uh, all of the more information already entered. So it saved us some data entry time too, 
Yeah. That data entry, it's exactly it. You're also getting that when you think of an answering service, right? You just think you don't realize that that data entry is now fitting seamlessly within your systems. You're not wasting time on that, you know, on the proverbial paperwork. Um, and just to be clear, you know, sometimes you're getting a call forwarded. So, you know, you're picking up immediately after you speak to our representative. Other times, if you're not available, you're just getting kind of a breakdown that's integrated in your system, right? And then you get back to them, you know, when you're available. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the, you know, I, you know, I'm not always available. <laughs> that's yeah. part of the problem. I need to, yeah. you know, be able to get back to people as soon as I possibly can. Yeah. And, you know, it's, you know, whether I'm working, whether it's at nighttime, you know, we got to pick it, we have to pick and choose what times yeah. we can get back to people. And, you know, if, if I use this system for batching, for example, when I'm calling a bunch of people during uh, a half hour that I have to be able to get to it, it helps. Yeah. So I know we're, uh, I know we've been chatting for uh, a long time, Brad, but this has really been amazing. I just want a final, final thought. What do you enjoy the most about being an answering legal customer? I mean, you've mentioned it, but just kind of put it into one nugget for us for anyone who is thinking like, ah, you know, I think this could be for me. Uh, the customer service was, was really good for me and how they explained how things are going to work, uh, how they respond to my questions when I have questions how they respond to creating maybe a new script for a new line of uh, or a new practice area. They, they just made the, the process really easy. You know, I, I can talk about technology all day. That's what makes it like clean and easy to use. Um, you know, when it comes down to getting the product, which is the messages that are coming in. But, you know, aside from that, it's the customer service that I've gotten along the way. It's just made the process easy. And it really made me open to trying it out in the beginning. And I'm glad I did. I love that because, again, we spent a lot of time talking about how this has kind of changed your firm and the way your firm operates um, and just, you know, getting more leads and expanding your business and your caseload. But what you just said is so important to dealing with with our people, right? The customer service that you have that you've experienced in getting to know the product and, you know, making sure it's user friendly and that you feel that you're supported, you know, the whole the whole time really you know every step of the way to make sure you're understanding the service and you know that's something we really pride ourselves on being available to you the customer to make sure you're comfortable because again you're trying to make your clients comfortable you're our client right so we need to make sure that you're comfortable you know any questions you have anything you need you know more training on anything you know we're there for you and it's so nice to know that you've experienced that firsthand that you're like yeah you guys have me like you have my back yeah and it, it, it's been that way 100% Amazing. And what, what, what makes me happier about it is that answering legal is just legal. When, 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 when you talk to the representatives of answering legal, you know that they know the business. Like they also, they know the business of law. It's not just reception. Whenever I talk to them, they sort of know how a criminal defense lawyer's relationship is with a client or potential client. And, yeah. you know, they, they use buzzwords that we use in certain practice areas. And I, you know, when, when I first signed up, I'm like, oh, wow, you guys really know this business, don't you? And they're like, yeah, we've been around for a long time and we have the experience. I'm like, you know, and, and, and you can hear that in the words that they use. And, um, you know, they, they just knew what a criminal defense client was looking for when they called. It's sort of like sometimes you call a doctor's office off hours, right? And you get the answering service and you know it's the answering service. It's like, I have a question, you know, I'll ask a couple of questions like, oh, well, I'm just the answering service. I All I can do, I, I can't answer that. But what you said is the exact antithesis. It's exactly, you know, it's the crux of what answering legal does. When somebody calls, they don't, they don't know that we're not your 24 seven receptionist in your office. That's how fluent we are in the language. We know what to ask. We know what follow-ups to ask. We know how to react to what they're saying as if we're you because you know, we know the law, which is, which is not <laughs> most answering services. Just, Hello. Thank you. What's your name? That's not what this is. That's exactly right. Clients love it. And I love it when I'm not, well, when I am able to answer the phone, when one of the receptionists calls me, they can talk my language yeah. or if I didn't pick up the phone in the message, it tells me what the next court date is because they know to say to the potential client, when is your next court date? And what is it for? And if they say they don't, if the potential client says they don't know, the receptionist will say, "Well, is it a preliminary hearing? Is it trial? Is it a is it a bail?" Like, and they'll yeah. they'll sort of lead the person into remembering 
what they're going through or what their next court date is, which in turn helps them get the information to me. So I know what I'm getting into when I pick up the phone or I return a phone call. Yeah. And exactly. The, the last thing you want is like, oh, you didn't ask them this. Oh, you didn't ask them that. No, we did. We're, 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 we're kind of two steps ahead. That's how well trained our virtual receptionists are in all different kinds of law and all different kinds of cases. So, you know, we know the playbook. We know what the information you're going to need. So we're two steps ahead. Yeah. Knowing knowing how the practice operates yeah. gets better information and it, you know, it, it gets better information from the clients. And in turn, it saves us attorneys time, which is all we have. Yeah. Well, speaking of time, thank you for fitting us into your busy schedule. <laughs> we heard the phone ringing, so we know those callers were in good hands. Uh, I was thinking during those calls, oh, I wonder what, what is, what's happening, <laughs> what they're saying. Can you patch us in? But, um, you know, time is money, so we thank you for being here. But it's just so good to hear about your experience. It's helped your business, right? Client leads, expanding your caseload. It's it's helped your personal life, right? You know, your your quality of life. And also it's helped your clients, right? So it's it's really just, I keep saying this, which is a win-win on so many levels. And it, it's just, it's just gives you chills to 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 you know, realizing how many parts of the process, you know, are, you know, we're giving aid to for somebody like you. Yeah. And I, I really appreciate you having me on every time I talk to you guys. It's a pleasure, whether it's a video conference where I'm giving you guys suggestions, you know, after you've reached out for suggestions, integrating or talking to you about the service like this, it's, it's always a lot yeah. of fun. And did you notice yeah. when the phones were ringing, I wasn't sweating them. <laughs> like I wasn't worrying about them other than to try to yeah. hit the volume down because I yeah. know that I go somewhere and the message is going to be there for me. So yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, exactly. You, you know that you're in good hands. And like you said too, though, it's about, you know, the client, you being accessible to your client, but us being accessible to you, right? It's a 50, 50 partnership, right? You need to know that you're in good hands as you're delivering the service to your clients. So it all, it all connects. So thank you, Brad. I won't keep you longer, but will you come back? Right. Maybe uh, you're two, year two. Cause you know, yeah. we're constantly adding things to, you know, yeah. our service. So would love to hear about your new experiences as, as you discover, you know, new things that you're using with Answering Legal. Yeah, I would love to. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Brad. And we'll see you in Philly. Save a Philly pretzel for me. <laughs> I miss them. them all. Bye. <laughs> and uh, that is all the time we have for this episode of Inside Answering Legal. If you want to learn more about our company, we always encourage you to visit answeringlegal.com. And of course, stay tuned here for future episodes of this podcast. Remember, all episodes of Inside Answering Legal can be found on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and the Answering Legal YouTube channel. I'm TWB. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.